Good morning, skiers and riders. Sugarloaf and Carabas at Valley. Time to take a check of your latest local forecast and trail conditions. This forecast brought to you by 45 North. Find them in the Sugarloaf Mountain Hotel for breakfast as well as apre and dinner. And you can find this and much more on all your internet devices at WSKITV.com. For today, another cold one out there below zero up towards the summit with a noticeable breeze. So be aware of that. Bundle up, especially if you're going to ski higher on the hill. Base temperatures warming up to uh, the... Upper single digits to lower double digits with a west wind that will be noticeable as well. So grab those face masks, those mittens around those gloves, go to the downhill supply company, uh, maybe grab some hand warmers, some toe warmers, and get out there and rip up the fresh snow because the skiing is in great shape. Partly sunny skies with some snow showers for the day on Saturday. Warm up just a bit. Summer temperatures in the the uh, single digits base temperatures in the mid to upper teens and it looks like that wind will be present as well uh, noticeable up towards the summit as we head into sunday we're looking at partly sunny skies things start to warm up 23 will do it for your high and eight for your low up top cloudy with a chance of some mixed precip on monday you can see base temperatures above freezing and that goes into tuesday as well as we get some mild temperatures a high of 39 with a chance of a shower nothing uh no big washouts or anything just uh some showers here or there if they do uh, amount to anything birchwood interiors they bring you your trail report check them out in village west 130 trails to ski and ride on uh nine lifts getting you those runs 59 trails groomed out last night machine groomed and packed powder surfaces get out there and hit it up snubber sawduster and skidway those three lifts move you around the base area this morning at 8 30 Double Runner East gets you a little higher on the hill for some nice wide groomed out runs down Boardwalk as well as Lower Winter's Way and Lower Narrow Gauge. Double Runner also drops you off at the base of the Skyline Quad. Skyline gets you up to Spillway Crosscut. That allows you to branch out all across the mountain from the east to the west. And Super Quad unloads just below that, which gets you to a variety of mid-mountain terrain as well. King Pine and Whiffle Tree, those are the east side lifts. King Pine, more advanced terrain over there. That's how you get over to the cat skiing. Whiffle Tree, that is a more intermediate area. Great for the kids, and it's a nice, fast Super Quad. So check that out. Do some laps on Whiffle Tree. Timberline is scheduled at 9 a.m. Winds and weather permitting. And as always, number three T-Bar is on standby. Candy Side, Lower Winter's Way, Boardwalk, The Landing, Birches, and Snowbrook all groomed out last night and this morning, as well as Central Mountain Trails like Timberline, Buckskin, Tote Road, Spurline, Hayburner, King's Landing, Haywire, Competition Hill, Narrow Gauge, Lower Spillway. They got Sluice and a couple others as well. East Side Trails, they usually groom that last, so that'll be the softest snow first thing this morning. Flume, Hallback, Widowmaker, room da Ram Down, Lower Boom Auger, Two Hall, Wiffle Tree, Slasher, and Rollway, and West Side Trails, uh, Windrow, and Good Chance, and all the terrain parks got some work as well. 60 kilometers of groomed cross-country skiing down to Sugarloaf Outdoor Center are open. Uh, 48 of that is groomed. Call ahead for the ice rink. Temperatures have been cold enough, uh, but uh, you may want to call ahead on that. The snowshoeing is in great shape, and you want to stay on those rather than the fat bikes today. It looks like if you want to go out and do some snowshoeing off of the narrow gauge pathway, still help out packing stuff down on the single track trails uh, but things are a bit too soft right at this moment reciprocal weekend is this weekend for snowmobilers so if you've got some friends from new hampshire or vermont that get registered sleds get them over here for some free riding uh great way to get out and explore the main high peaks region from a different point of view on a snowmobile also check out our live quad cam that is at wskitv.com slash quad cam so you can see exactly what's happening in real time at the base of the mountain you can also find us on social media we're on facebook twitter as well as instagram and always at our website wskitv.com lots of videos on there of things to do to keep you busy each one of those a reason to stay another day